All right, welcome to step five. For those of you saying, well, how many steps are there? I promise you, this is it. This is the last area that I actually found uh, a little bit of CFM flow to be gained. It's not much, but uh, if you're going for the icing on the cake, uh, this is another area that you can uh, attack and grab a little bit extra. Okay, this area, and uh, interesting, this was an interesting test that I learned, and you, I didn't, you really wouldn't know this unless you had a flow bench and working it, uh, and, and especially flowing it the way that I did. This area that, uh, that I'm going to talk about really only affects your outside runners here, like number one, number two, seven, and eight. Okay, and I'm going to go back here, I'm going to show you this gasket, all right? And, and this kind of will help a little bit explain why why it works this way okay in this section the reason why it only works is what, I, what i'm referencing to is i work the top of the porch here okay uh the picture i'll splice in a little bit of a picture but on the top of the porch coming into them if you work this you'll notice there's a, a little bit of a lip and an angle and it drops in there so what i did is i i took down that lip and i blended it in there and did a nicer transition into it all right and i also actually worked the inner side guys you're uh, four and six and three and five. I did the same. I did it on all of them. But the funny thing is, after I float it and putting this guy in here and simulating it, what I noticed was, if you look closely here, noticed uh, on your outside that uh, the outside of these guys, um, the hole, it can pull air in here. But it's, notice this right here in the middle, guys. It actually, uh, the air, and I'm guessing why, is what happened was, these inner side guys, even working them, I found no performance gains or nothing to be gained. Uh, and it was only the outsides that gained. And I think it's because of the orientation of how the air flows into there from the carburetor is what affected that. Now, the numbers aren't real big, okay? If you do do it, um, you can expect to see just on the only outsides about a three, 3 CFM gain, maybe 4 give or take, but on average is about 3 CFM. Unfortunately, your inside guys, Working that, and because of how the air flows into it, I didn't see anything working. And it was kind of unusual because I really did a lot of kind of little grooving and stuff coming inside from the top all the way in there. And none of it made a difference. So my suggestion is if you're going for this last um, touch and you work these areas uh, to help compensate and keep the balance on there, on these inside guys, make sure that you focus on the short side bend closer in these areas because that's where you can kind of get these guys up to snuff. And like I said, when I struggled with number three, getting it in balance, that's the area that I went back and that really helped out. So uh, that's pretty much it as far as what step five goes and improving air f movement. Uh, uh, I have one more, um, the closing section of this video. I'm going to go a little bit into some uh, talk about the bowl and some of the areas that I uh, worked on that won't uh, that aren't going to give you any gains, um, but uh, some interesting stuff involved in that. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll roll into the closing section here.